Hey, so guess what? I like when a newspaper has a sense of humor. Don't you? <laughs> You know, sure. the people, because there's not enough comedy out there. I like when non-comedy people do comedy. Sure, really? the, the, the Section Reader's Digest where they do the jokes. Oh, Hysterical. It's fantastic. Always, it's, always uh, go to. Uh, humor, humor in uniform? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. So um, here, here is uh, a good military intelligence. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. So I'm what the Boston Globe. Everybody talked about this. They did a funny, right? See what they did? They did a they did a spoof. I don't know if you see. Oh look, deport the Boston Globe deportation. So they pretended Donald Trump won, and then they look deportations to begin. Uh, curfews extended in multiple cities. Ah, oh, look, ah, so aren't was, those all things that are actually happening? Well, it's a good it's good that you brought that up, Robert. Hmm. Because so that's hilarious, right? So they're trying to shock everybody with it. Ah, oh, look at that! Isn't that something? It's like we're the Onion, but we're the Boston Globe. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So and they didn't even do it on April first, which would have been at least more su suited. They did it on April. You could have done that any time. They decided to do it April 9th. Oh, eight days late. <laughs> now who's the April Fool? <laughs> Boston Globe. So by the way, Boston Globe. That's not a joke. Because guess what? Here's from, this from your own paper. <laughs> Local deportation underscores wider immigration debate. When's this from? January 15th, 2016. That's right. That guy, Macario, was forced to say goodbye to his wife, children, and home. He's been living in America for 25 years. They deported him because he had a DUI on his record from 1995. Of course. He's got kids. He's got a wife. He's up. He's uh, popular at his church. His whole church came out for him. He's been here for twenty five years. No, you had a drug. That that's the guy we got to get rid of. That's the guy. That, by the way, that's why. That's that's why this is stupid. Because they've been deporting people like freaking maniacs. In fact, you want some stats? This is according to Fusion. Since coming to office in 2009, Obama's government has deported more than 2.5 million people. Up 23% from George W. Bush's years. More shockingly, Obama is now on pace to deport more people than the sum of all 19 presidents who governed the United States from 1892 oh. to 2000. What about that? That's Holy from Fusion. Holy cow. You want some more stats? That's an interesting stat. More? President Obama has deported more people than any U.S. president before him and almost more than every other president combined from the 20th century. It's according to Fusion. Here's one more. To pad their numbers, Homeland Security is now going after the lowest hanging fruit, women and children who are seeking asylum from violence in Central America. So what America does is we export our drug war to Central America it doesn't fix it. It makes everything worse. It creates syndicates. It creates violence. So we cut off the flow, the export through the oceans. So now people have to go through the. So now there's all this drug violence, and we, by the way, we help destabilize governments in Central America. At the whole, every bad thing we could do as a superpower to create this problem, we've done. So now these people come here thinking that they're going to get asylum in America. And what they do is they go after women and now now they're going after women and children who are here seeking asylum from drug wars that we created in Central America. Drug wars and by the way also just like flat out domestic violence like okay. they have very very reason good reasons to be here. They are people who are suffering horribly. Why would you leave your this is the only time I remember enforcement raids on families of women and children who are fleeing some of the most violent places on the planet, said Royce Bernstein Murray, director of policy for the National Immigrant Justice Center. Some of the most violent places on the planet. They're fleeing, and we're sending them back. Women and children. Are you really that shocked? I mean, we only take 35,000, uh, at best, refugees from Syria. Syria has a 4 million plus but we will human rights there. fucking disaster going on, and we won't accept anybody more. As a matter of fact, we're trying to get it to less. Yes. 
Yeah. So are but you we really send more bombs over there? I have no problem with. I have no surprise in my yeah. heart left. So here, there's more from Fusion. Perhaps the most stomach-churning aspect about the whole Central American roundup is that Homeland Security is targeting a group of vulnerable people who tend to be compliant and trusting of authority. Many of the Central American women they've collared in the past week are people who turned themselves into the U.S. law enforcement voluntarily to plea for protection for their children. Barack Obama's government's kicking them out. These are people who were in regular contact with U.S. authorities and kept current addresses on Homeland Security databases. In other words, they weren't hiding from the law. They were trying to get right by it. They were trying to get right by it. But they still got treated like criminals pulled from their homes by men with guns. That's already happening. So that's why that headline from the Boston Globe, not funny. Pretty stupid. And it's it's denying what's happening right now. It's happening right now. And the Boston Globe is pretending that it's something that might happen in the future. Right. Yeah, I like, I like the way Trump talks about a wall. We already have one. <laughs> you know we already have a border fence. Yes. It completely doesn't work. Completely. It it costs a fortune. It created all kinds of havoc in all of those towns. And he's like, you know what the solution is? Uh, build it a little bit bigger. Build a little bigger. B- build it bigger. So and- Fusion c- concludes this article saying, for them, the nasty, xenophobic future that Trump promises is already here. The president is much more of a threat and danger to immigration to immigration communities than Donald Trump, says Tom Chin of the National Day Labor Organizing Network. Trump is just verbalizing what Obama is already doing. So great. That was a really great headline, uh, Boston Globe. That was fantastic. That was So that's what happens when non-comedians try to do comedy. They get it all wrong. What makes comedy funny, usually when you're talking about current events, is that it has a ring of truth. That's not. That's pretending. That's pretending a truth isn't already happening right now. Way to go, Boston Globe. <laughs> 